Luke 4, 9-12 says, The devil led him to Jerusalem and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the Son of God, he said, throw yourself down from here. For it is written, he will command his angels concerning you to guard you carefully. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. Jesus answered, it is said, do not put the Lord your God to the test. One of the interesting things about this particular temptation is that Satan quotes from the Bible to try and entice Jesus to listen to him. Having been twice repulsed with Bible texts that Jesus used, the tempter tries a text himself. This is a reminder that the Bible can be misused and abused, and that Satan is happy to do that to entice people away from God. On the basis that God promises protection from harm to those who trust in him, Satan tempts Jesus to test God by placing himself deliberately in danger to prove God's promise to rescue him. The problem with this is that it is reckless to deliberately put yourself in danger and use God's promises as a kind of get out of jail card. God's promises were given for reassurance, not recklessness. A second problem is that testing God in this way undermines trust in him and thereby damages our relationship with him. It is similar to the story of the boy who cried wolf. The boy is constantly testing the helpful support of his community by crying wolf when there is no need, such that he destroys that support. Jesus sees through this reckless disregard of trusting in God and quotes a part of the Bible that rules out putting God to the test. As we finish our fast, let us pray that we will trust in him and rely on his promises in the way that they were meant for. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have made so many wonderful promises to us. You have promised that when we seek, we will find. When we ask, we will receive. And when we knock, the door will be opened to us. May you hear our prayers and bless us, that we may be filled with faith in you and love for you. And we thank you for sustaining us through this fast. In Jesus' name. Amen.